Hello, I'm Bradley, and first things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so do you have fine hair? Do you have thinning hair? Are you really struggling to get any density to be able to help your style sort of stand up? Or are you having quite lank, flat hair? Or are you actually just looking at your hair and thinking, what on earth is going on? Well, I have tried the Neoxin, okay? I have tried the kit for chemically treated hair, because back in December, I had highlights put throughout my hair. So I haven't got the normal one here, so do bear that in mind. But this is a kit to try and address all of those concerns that when you go to style your hair, whether you're a man or a woman, and you just think to yourself, I can see a little bit too much more scalp than what I want. My hair's just so flat, it's so lank, it's got no character, no life. It could really do with something to bring it back from the brink of that real sort of borderline starting to be a little bit more of a concern. So this is your first sort of initial stage. Perhaps you're looking in the mirror and you're thinking, hair needs a little bit more help. It's starting to really require something, but you're just not sure what. Neoxin is a brand which is designed to really kind of grab hold of all of those concerns, run with it and help you achieve a much more comfortable scalp, a much more greater density, much more conditioned, a really healthier, thicker head of hair. Now, what is it, as it, is it a cure for hair loss? No, it isn't. Okay, Neoxen are very, very clever in their products, and even on their website, it doesn't actually say that it cures uh, hair loss, because, of course, there is no cure. It doesn't really say that it kind of addresses it, but it does get across to the consumer that it does look after uh, needs of thinning hair, thin hair, and all of those kind of issues which go along with that as well. Okay, so let's get down to it really quickly here. So this is, I've got a five here. So I always find with Neoxin, it's a little bit confusing because there are loads of different kits, but I have got the first stage, okay, of chemically treated hair, the light thinning with intense moisture. All right. Okay. So we know it's supported by the Institute of Trichologists. If you know what a trichologist is, or if you don't, that is the study of hair and the scalp. Okay. Um, and I've got here, it's a Style Choice Awards winner, and it's won 15 consecutive years as the favorite thinning hair care. Okay. Now on the icon here, I don't know if you can quite see this. I'm not a perfectionist of the lighting, I'm afraid at the moment. We've got density diameter, um, derma purifying, which is the scalp, and then we've got five. So that's the three things which Neoxin looks at in this kit here. Okay, so results in just 30 days, 77% of people feel like having more hair, okay, 86% of people believe hair is strengthened against damage, 72% believe hair is thicker looking after two weeks. How long have I been using it? I haven't been using this every single day for weeks on end, okay, I've used this for the last four days, and then I've had this in my go-to sort of armory of products for about two months now. OK, so just after Christmas, OK, I had this because I actually got this as a gift along with loads of different hair stuff because my family know that I'm really an avid kind of uh, collector, um, reviewer of all of those type of things, particularly for fine hair, thin hair. I have fine hair, but it's not the thickest, um, but I do have quite a bit of it. I have gone through stages of my life where um, my hair has been a concern and I've had hair loss back in 2015 being one of them due to stress and medication. But leaving that, that's going to be another story for the future. If you're sat there thinking, how is it? How is it? OK, so box here, loads of information on the back. Comes in a really nice box. Really like that. Open the box up. This is the starter kit, by the way. You get a 150 mils of the scalp therapy revitalizing conditioner. OK, and you get the same of the shampoo. So cleanser shampoo, step one, chemically treated hair, light thinning. OK, 150 mil, this one here. And then with the same bottle, this is the conditioner. So really nice and easy, snap sort of tops here, and then you just squeeze how much you want through into your hand. Let's start with the shampoo. Okay, so the shampoo for me, absolutely love it. It's got menthol on it, it's really zingy, it's really icy, it's really invigorating, it really wakes the scalp up. Now, with the Neoxin, okay, I did have an experience, I wanna say about a year, maybe 18 months ago now, where I tried one or two of the products, and I didn't like them. So I did stay away from the Neoxin, for a while, okay, but I wanted it. I wanted to try it because I've read some really great things about this for people with fine hair, people with concern that they're losing a little bit more hair than what they want. So if you're looking in the mirror, if you style your hair and you've got loads of hair on the brush or you've got loads of hair on your hand, but yet up here, you're not really necessarily seeing a difference at the moment. Prevention is always better than cure. So getting on that as quickly as you can is probably my best tip 
of all, okay? Um, now, this this is for men and women, don't forget. Men have highlights in their hair, women have blonde hair, highlights, what have you. Um, so, great. Is a shampoo cleansing? Yes, it is. Is it a shampoo which is really over the top? I would say it's quite a full-on shampoo, okay? You... It doesn't affect my scalp, okay, but I would absolutely understand if somebody used this and it irritated their scalp a little bit because it's borderline, for me, a little bit harsh. It's really invigorating. It's t it's kind of to the point where there's so much of a mental smell in here. It's so minty. It's so sort of strong. I don't know if that kind of makes sense here, but it's a really strong shampoo. Um... It really does get to the scalp. You can tell that it's all about kind of unclogging those follicles, removing all those impurities and really starting to get the get the scalp back to a core healthy basis. So it's got those type of elements there. So I don't want to put you off from that, but it is a strong shampoo. OK, but I do love it. I do really, really like to use it. Um, let's just go into some of the ingredients here a little bit on the shampoo here. So forgive me for this because this is really quite science on here, but I just want to. I just want to just detail some of the ingredients back to you. So one of the disappointing things I found in the shampoo straight away is so, uh, sodium lithium sulfate, which is like a cleanser, which we have uh, in more cheaper shampoos, um, in sort of dishwash detergent, those type of things. So it's a really, um, it helps the product lather, to be quite honest with you. And unfortunately, sodium lithium sulfate has been thought that someone who's got thinning or fine hair can kind of exacerbate the problem as well. One of my first things I'd say to somebody who is looking at trying to look after and trying to have the most hair and the healthiest hair possible and the best scalp environment of growing the thickest hair possible is I've actually said, and I will continue to say, that the best thing every now and again is to stop using sulfates and use a non-sulfate-based shampoo system, okay? And I'm not going to change that either. So then just going on from there, I can see sort of it's got a citric acid in here. It has got bear with me we've got menthol oil in here we've got uh we've got menthol in here uh we have got i want to say that's peppermint oil i want to say that forgive me for that it's quite sciencey and it looks like the words kind of change so do forgive me on that we've also got hydrogenized silk in here okay we've got biotin in here we have got panothenol in here uh, we have got a few other natural sort of what I can tell fruit seed extracts in here as well. Um, we have got citrus lemon peel extract in here and we have got citrus fruit extract. So quite a few ingredients which you think, wow, OK, really kind of great. Looking forward to using that. So the cleanser, Derma Purifying, featuring Pro Color Shield technology. And this is to help remove follicle clogging, sebum, fatty acids, environmental residues from scalp and hair. Okay, so if you imagine you have used lots of product, perhaps you don't necessarily really scrub your scalp. I'm not saying that over, over sort of exacerbating, so you don't want to really go too harsh, but sometimes really massaging that scalp, really removing all those impurities and getting those follicles kind of unclogging them, removing all the, the product buildup, dead skin cells, that type of thing. Really important. So this is a strong shampoo and it's going to be good for that. It's great. I really do like it. Let's move on to the conditioner. Okay, so the conditioner, by the way, sorry, that is a clear gel-like texture and um, very, very minty. So if that's not your thing, caution on this one. Does it damage the kind of the blonde throughout my hair? No. Is it really moisturising the shampoo? It's not. Okay, I'm just going to say that it's not. Just be really, really careful. You don't want to be combing through this or anything like that at all, but stay with it because the conditioner, okay, this is the conditioner here. So this is our scalp therapy revitalising conditioner. Now it's really thick, so it's a little bit difficult to get out of the bottle, but again, it's menthol. It's quite that peppermint tone you get through. Um, I'm presuming that's on here, by the way. It's quite sciencey how it's written on here. Forgive me for that. Um, please do forgive my ignorance on that. But I'm just reading this as a consumer wanting to improve the scalp hair um, health. And I want to kind of have the thickest, fullest, healthiest hair environment possible. So that's why I'm reviewing this. So the conditioner is great. OK, but what I would say with the conditioner is that it's not just an instant thing. You've got to take your time with this because the conditioner you have to use, you have to, you don't have to use loads, but I always like to try and get it through on the roots first of all, because of course I want it to look after that density. I want it to look after the environment where keeping 
the perfect environment is going to keep helping my hair grow as thick and as full as possible. So you do have to be a bit careful with this. And because you can't just pull your, your hands through your hair from the shampoo straight away, just be careful. So I always take a little bit first of all, and I go between at the bottom of my roots here, because my hair's longer, just touching my shoulders now. And I get that all throughout my roots, and then take a moment just to massage. Vitally important to get that circulation going. Um, and of course, all that oxygen-rich blood flow to the, to the hair roots and getting those ingredients really working there. Then I take a little bit more, and then I take that through the lengths of my hair and the ends. Okay. Now, I'll be honest, I don't think you can just wash this straight out, because it does, even though it says it's intensely moisturising, it's not. Not for somebody... I mean, I haven't got that mega blonde hair now, but you can see it's quite metallic in the top knot style, which I've got here. And I need to leave it in for a good 10 minutes before I can decide to wash it out. Okay. And then my hair is feeling quite moisturised, not the most softest, not the most sleekest, but it is moisturised. What I would say this shampoo conditioner set does, okay, is it makes the hair straight away appear fuller in the root, okay, a little bit more standing up. But what it does, and this is the one thing I didn't kind of like, is that it kind of makes the hair quite puffy when it dries. I've left the hair drying naturally and it sits puffy and quite frizzy. Um... If I'm doing a style like this combing back, it's a perfect set. So if you're a lady sat there watching, you've got those real glamorous sort of uh, highlights throughout your hair and you like to use heat elements and things, just be a bit cautious with this because I do think that if you weren't careful, you could get your hair quite chewed up with the shampoo and the conditioner if you were just washing it straight out. So take your time with it because more time, I find that the conditioner is just more nourishing. And then when you take it out, you can actually do something with your hair. You can pass a comb throughout your hair. And then you do feel that your roots feel quite, almost like they've got a bit more resistance in the lengths of your hair. Yes, but then looking at that from negative and positive, positive, yes, it makes the hair feel a little bit more. Negative, it's not as sleek as what I would like. I've had products before which make my hair appear fuller and thicker and make it feel smooth and really quite nice to touch as well. So, but I still like the shampoo conditioner. It's one of those things. It's not my favourite product, but I do like it because I know it's got those ingredients in and it's looking after my scalp. And it's that brand, Neoxin. And don't forget, coming back to this, it's supported by the Institute of Trichologists. Okay, so you've got that backing there. And then you've got the uh, 15 consecutive years of favourite thinning hair care. Great. Okay. And don't forget, it says here, in 30 days, results. So thicker hair in 30 days. Let me tell you a little bit about the conditioner, if I can try and pick up some of the ingredients. So we have got in here, okay, so what have we got in here? So we've, we have got the peppermint oil, like I mentioned to you. We've got the, uh, we've got a few other natural sort of oils in here. We've got menthol in here. We have got biotin in here as well. We have got fennel fruit extract in here. We've got sugar maple, citrus lemon. We have got hydrolyzed silk. We have got orange fruit extract, so all of those things. But what not surprises me, you can't smell any of that. What you get is a real sort of, almost like plants, but minty menthol. Menthol really is the overriding fragrance and sensation here. It's really cooling on the scalp, both the shampoo and the conditioner are. Um, if it's cold dusting in the morning, it literally fit, makes your scalp feel that it's absolutely and a blaze ice, but not uncomfortable, not itchy, or not sort of burning around the nape of the neck or anything like that at all. I do think that potentially uh, it could irritate your scalp, so just be a little bit cautious with that one. Okay, just a bit conscious of time here, but the last thing of the, uh, the last element of this kit here is the number three. Okay, so step one, the shampoo, step two, the conditioner, and then step three is the treatment. So this is the scalp and hair treatment. Okay, so and I'll be very, very honest, this is the product which I don't like okay i don't like this product here don't like it at all um this is 50 mil i'm really really sorry to say this to me it smells like deep heat or those muscular sort of rub sprays that type of thing um if you sprayed an ankle that type of thing you may have used it before it's exactly that smell and what i'm going to show you now is quite alarming okay so i'm just going to come off to the side and as you can see here on two different days is some pictures of what it makes my scalp look like now it does say okay that it may cause temporary redness why? Why does a hair loss product need to do that? And let me tell you, it's not comfortable. And actually, it did make me feel quite worried, concerned what it was doing, because it did slightly burn a little bit, actually. Because don't forget, you're using a strong shampoo, then a strong conditioner. So if you've got sensitive scalp, okay, I wouldn't then recommend that treatment spray. 
However, it does die down after about 20 minutes, okay, so you can't just run out the door with this one. Um, and then it does make my hair, okay, have a little bit more resistance to it, it does make my hair feel a little bit thicker, alright? Um, <clears throat> but it's not, it's not a product which I would run out and purchase from the store again, or such. I would recommend you to try it. If you're thinking, yeah, I would really like to give that a go, I recommend the shampoo, recommend the conditioner, absolutely. That treatment spray approach with caution. And it says for chemically treated hair light thinning. It didn't do my hair any good at all. It does feel stimulating, but to the point where it feels really uncomfortable, really, really burning. You'll tell from the pictures. It is alarming. I'm not going to beat around the bush with it. It looks, it's as bad as it looks, to be honest with you, and if not a little bit more. I'm going to read you through some of the ingredients. Okay, uh, just very quickly, it has got uh, caffeine in here, and of course I've used caffeine products before, an absolute avid user, and completely recommend caffeine-based products. None of them have done this to me before. Um, and then in here we have got really sciencey products, so forgive me for this. Um, we've got menthol in here again. We've got some uh, we've got some natural sort of leaf extract oils, I can see hydrogenized silk in here. I don't know where, because it doesn't really do too much for my hair, the actual treatment. Biotin in here. Um, we have got a few other fruit extracts in here as well. So we've got some great ingredients. It's just you can't necessarily pick up on that. Shampoo conditioner I like. I will continue to use them. All right. Treatment spray. No, as you can see from the picture. Okay. Do I think that it gave me thicker hair? I'll be honest. I'm still reserved. Okay. I don't think it's the most amazing product for giving you thicker hair. All right. Um, I think if you used it for 30 days, you'd have a bit of an irritated scalp, in all honesty. Um, on the days I do use it, my hair feels a little bit more resistant, has a bit more texture in it, but thicker? Not sure. I think it's more of an illusion product. Um, I'm not won over by the ingredients in it either, and the treatment spray is absolutely, I, I can't stand. Um, I'll be honest, I'm really sorry to say that about Mioxin, and that was actually one of the products which I tried a year to 18 months ago, and it done exactly the same to me then as it has now, so really don't like that at all. Does it look after the blonde element of my hair? Not really. Is it enough moisturising? It's okay. It's not amazing, but I do like the cleansing element of the shampoo conditioner. All right. Okay, so if you do have any questions at all for me, please leave them down below. I know that's a little bit hit and miss there. As I say, the shampoo, great. Conditioner, great. Treatment spray, no. There's a few elements of the shampoo conditioner which I'm not so keen on, but as an overall cleanser for somebody who wants to look after their hair and perhaps wants to boost their hair, perhaps you've started to see your hair thin a little bit, uh, thinning a little bit then this would be great for you to try but just don't kind of just count count so much on it really just try it for you because of course everybody's scalp is different and this is a product which is either going to work or not and you're either going to love it or you're either going to hate it or i don't really think there's an in-between i don't think with these kits here price wise do shop around for this i paid 25 pounds for this okay from online i can't quite remember now if it was amazon or look fantastic or all beauty one of those stores um, but do shop around for it because you can the price for the vary considerably um okay so thank you very much indeed for watching and until next time i hope you enjoyed that thank you for being here and i'll be seeing you real soon bye for now